Garay Farms, there we go, annual sellers, annual sellers, due the 1st of Feb, there we go, all the details of the bull, right on the card for you, lovely Panama, right for those lovely hammers here, 2400, 24, 23, 21, Jack, 21, 21, 50, yes. that's 21.50, 2, 50, 22.50, okay, Warnable Aces conducted their F1 yes. female sale on uh, uh, Wednesday, uh, and Jack 25. Kelly joins me. Jack, uh, a Please smaller yarding of 900 here today, and uh, the, uh, a lot of rain before the market. Uh, it, uh, it didn't deter anything. You would be very happy with the result. Look, Murray, yeah, very happy. I mean, look, the rain had been forecasted for a couple of days, and I thought we'd missed it, but I'd much rather rain uh, than 40 degrees because that does deter people with fire risk and people are in cars and coming and we knew there was plenty of people travelling so they were already in the car and going so they didn't mind at all. Yeah, uh, Warrnambool being one of the uh, few F1 sales that there is about um, you, uh, you had very good demand and particularly from that Portland area today which uh, set the pace, uh, offered a, a number of cattle themselves but uh, bought a lot of cattle. Yeah look, um, you yeah, had cattle here for sale and, uh, and it is a very strong area and we've been very, very, very lucky over the time Murray, that we haven't been struck here with really bad weather conditions like in other areas so, um, and I thought our heifers, our tops and our seconds presented well but probably our thirds become seconds because of the good season. Yeah. Uh, I'm just very, very happy with that. And then, of course, that reflected when these people sell, they've got to buy back. Yeah. And, of course, they've probably made a couple of hundred dollars more than we thought. But once again, when it got into the seconds, the smaller ones, they keep going up in price. Yeah. So people just have to buy. In regard to price, the PTICs, they started off uh, at, a, at the top was about uh, 2800 and uh, but it was very difficult to buy anything that was under uh, 2200 Exactly, exactly. No, no, I thought very consistent all the way through and and then we had some, um, you know, a nice run of uh, heifers with calves at foot, uh, which, look, we, we're still very happy with the price, but we haven't had them in our sale for a little while, so I think people probably should have went harder on them, considering before and after what joint heifers made. I think that they sold well, but I think they might have uh, been kicking themselves they didn't go a bit yeah. Yeah, most of those uh, 24 to 2700 with with one isolated pen of five to uh, to, to 3100. Uh, so th you know, probably good buying on the day, but uh, good selling on the day was your unjoined heifers. Uh, they were an enormously strong. Look, I thought Murray really good, and um, especially the, the the bigger end of them. But it's the more the medium types. You know, you think oh, gee, we'll slip back to a thousand, but they, they were still 13, 1400. And it just proves that people you know, like the breed and they want to continue to stay in it. It's really helping our dairying industry because they're in a bit of a flat spot with milk. I think it's a wonderful time for them to rear them and to sell them at an early age. Yeah, but the whole market really is showing that uh, the blacker numbers are right throughout and uh, and everything is relevant to uh, to, to what the, the turn off of the cull cow and the veal market is all about. Look, mate, exactly, and I mean, it, exactly, and the vealers too, with the good season, they've got a lot of weight in their vealers, they've got more uh, for their vealers, and obviously the cows will be 150 kilos heavier than last year, they cull cows, so they're still picking up more money. So, look, they're cashed up, and they realise they've got to, well, come to market like today, they've got to buy.